Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and in this video we're gonna get into all that we know so far about the new live action versions of Ariel and their sisters, their full backstories, their powers, the kingdoms that they rule over and more so stay tuned and let's get into it and really quick I usually uh, leave this to the end but I just opened up the um, YouTube member subscriptions so if you are able to and you would like to financially support the channel out then uh, uh, you know check out the uh, memberships tab on my channel or there should be also a join button down below if you're looking at the video right now on a laptop computer or ipad i believe uh maybe on the phone it's different but uh it's it's there somewhere basically just letting you know if you want to and are interested there's an option for that but of course nothing would change if you um cannot and that's completely understandable anyways <laughs> Um, let's get into it. So in the new live action remake of the Little Mermaid movie, Ariel's sisters will have different names. In the original Disney animated version, uh, all of her sisters had names that began with A. It was kind of like the thing that connected them all. Uh, and they all had um, a specific color theme to their tails that they would then be able to form a rainbow. So it's basically like we out of the seven mermaids, we had like every color from the rainbow represented. So that was a really also eye-catching, um, you know, iconic um, thing about them, uh, the sisters. And so, of course, the na names for the cartoon movie were Atina, Alana, Adela, Aquata, Arista, Andrina, and Ariel, of course. Now, in the live action, the names have changed. So you could argue basically that all of the characters, all of the sisters of Ariel are completely new characters altogether. So we have Mala, Indira, Caspia, Tamika, Perla, and Karina. Let's start off, of course, with Ariel, played by Halle Bailey. She is the most sensitive with a tender and loving heart. She has a fascination for the human world and collects trinkets from shipwrecks. She rules the Karine, the 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 Karine, the Karine, Karine. See, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's like it's C A R E N A E. So Karine, uh, almost sounds like Caribbean, but it's not. It's I f also, by the way, I think I think as we'll get to the other seas for, that the other sisters rule over. Um, I think all of these seas are made up. I'm not sure they actually exist. Don't don't quote me. I'm not geographically blessed to know. Uh, all the seas in the world but um i don't know the, the words kind of sound made up but they might be real they might be fake so i'm not sure but uh carine c so again i'm not sure if that's real or made up so, <laughs> the um the waters are warm and crystal clear she rules with a captivating kindness and is loved she is revered for her wonderful and striking voice and curiosity she believes in the power of unity and sees the best in her people um, so that's very Ariel. Obviously, she's very curious, as we all know. Um, but um, I don't think she has any powers. So some of the sisters, some of the sisters have powers, as we'll get to, as we'll get to those sisters in a moment. Uh, but I don't think Ariel does. So uh, very interesting. Or maybe she will have a power, like an ability of some sorts, um, that we just don't know about yet. But um, yeah, Halle Bailey as Ariel, perfect casting in my opinion. Next we have Mala, played by Carolina Con. She is the most fearless of her sisters, committed to protecting the reefs at any cost. She hates shipwrecks as they pollute her ocean and leave a havoc on a seashore. She rules the chain sea. The waters are filled with islands, shallows, and islets. She's a strong leader, intrepid, and loved by all for her sense of humor. She has sent many messages on seawood scrolls to humans before her father forbade such interactions. So, oh, and she has an ability. She actually has an ability, and it says here, Mala can lull the most restless sea creatures to sleep with a single note. So it seems that her singing um, is very calming to sea creatures. So, um, but very interesting that Mala also seems to have a fascination for the human world as like with Ariel, because uh, she used to send, you know, little messages to humans on seaweed scrolls. So very interesting, maybe um, Mala. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe that's why we got a three pack of Mala with Ariel and um, 
Karina because maybe uh, those two sisters are closer to Ariel in the movie. Interesting because obviously there's there's six sisters in total. So I unfortunately I really don't think that we're gonna get equal screen time for every sister in the actual movie. Uh, so I do think you know some of the sisters might have more to do and just might have a bigger relationship with Ariel than some others. So maybe Mala is closer to Ariel than the other sisters because they again they both share a love for uh, the human world to some capacity but very interesting yeah I definitely also love her color scheme by far out of all the sisters <laughs> next we have Karina played by Kazia Mohamar she is strong the most decisive of her sisters and has a great strong intuition she is very afraid of humans and is a great protector of seals she rules over the safe sea the waters are typically clothed in ice there. She is the most reclusive as well, and she is very talented with animals and often works closely with the native creatures of her land to make decisions that benefit all beings there. So uh, if you remember, this is uh, the other mermaid that is included in the three pack. So Karina, this girl, and then Mala, the other one, are included with Ariel in the three pack. So I do think maybe Karina will have... Um, also some more interactions with Ariel because unlike Mala and Ariel, Karina actually is afraid of humans. So maybe uh, Ariel is going to try to prove her wrong, like that humans are okay. Uh, but I do find it really cute that, you know, she's a protector of seals and there's even a little seal on the um, art drawn. So it's really cute. Like I definitely really hope that we get to see more of um, each sister's kingdom or whatever uh, seed that they rule over because uh, this one the seed that she rules over uh, again is uh, very it, it seems to be more like wintry as the waters are typically clothed in ice so very interesting then we have Indira played by Simone Ashley she is the most generous of all leading with empathy kindness and goodness she has already saved her subjects once from a giant poisonous sea snake she rules the brine dive sea. The waters of the gulf are shallow, sunny, and warm. Indira is skilled at diplomacy, working well with the ministers of her court. She is well informed about the, her kingdom and others, and she's also an excellent debater. So, uh, sounds like she's very into, like, the, um, you know, like, like into the politics side of uh, ruling her kingdom. Uh, so very interesting how so far all of the sisters are very different. I mean, of course they are, that's the whole point. But, um, you know, she really seems to be uh, very warm, you know, ruling over the brine dive sea, which also pronunciation, I'm not sure like how to actually say that brine dive, brine dive. <laughs> but but um, I definitely like, I love the actress, Simone Ashley. She was in um some net, some netflix shows if you know if you recognize her uh i really cannot wait to see how she works in the movie uh i'm just yeah i'm really excited she looks stunning honestly like her gold yeah. oh my gosh um and yeah i'm just she sounds like a really fun character oh and she also has the ability to heat up the temperatures around her to a boil so also very interesting i wonder what these powers will have like how will they come into play in the movie so next we have perla played by lorena andrea she is the most charismatic of all her sisters radiating warmth and kindness it is said that she once charmed and stopped a group of hungry orcas from attacking a colony of penguins she rules the python sea the waters are temperate and very deep it lies off the cartographic coast Perla rules with good temperament, is very careful with her choices, and puts decisions to a vote to keep the peace in her kingdom, uh, or I guess in her part of the seas. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, Perla, uh, she's the one with the, you know, obviously the, the red color theme. She looks really radiant. Like, I love the warm, the warmness of her tail, but and also she has like a, like teal streaks in her hair. So interesting. Um, and Perla has an ability as well. She can paralyze everything within a, within a certain radius. So she can paralyze anything, you know, as long as it's close enough to her. So again, I, I wonder if that'll ever come in play in the movie. I mean, it has to. They describe it here in this uh, book that we have all this information from. So um, I, I wish, but uh, it sounds really awesome. <laughs> Next, we have Tamika, played by Sienna Hu. She is powerful, the most tactical of her sisters, ruling with an iron fin. Some even say that she fought a tiger shark into submission before she learned how to swim. She rules the Fracas Sea. 
The waters are clear and sunlit, teeming with vibrant fish and coral. She has admirable strength and grace, a fierce ruler, very wise and a strong,、uh, and strong as a warrior. She knows the currents and the winds very well. Hang on, the winds? But she's underwater. How would she know the winds very well? <laughs> I don't understand how that works, but I guess it works. <laughs> but、um, yeah, so she it sounds like she's like the,、uh, the tough one of the group. You know, like she's very tactical, she's very strong, she, she can beat a tiger shark even as a baby. So, like, girl, that's, that's pretty insane. And also, interesting that for her,、um, there's no,、uh, we don't have any known ability as of right now. So maybe she has one in the movie, but.、Uh, I don't, I, yeah, here、uh, we don't have one.、Uh, it hasn't come out. So、uh, interesting. But、uh, she definitely, like, I like her design as well. It's very colorful, very vibrant. So it definitely fits with her, the description of、um, the, you know, the sea that she rules over, the Fracas Sea. Again, very suspicious sounding, but it might be real. It might be fake. Lastly, <laughs> we have Caspia, played by Natalie Sorrell. She's the most selfless of all her sisters, serving her people first, then leading. She Is said to be a bit of recluse, traveling only for meetings. She rules the Apneek, Apneek, Apneek. See, oh my god, again, pronunciation A P N E I C, Apneek. So that could go either way.、Um, it is said to be an inland sea between Euro, Euporia, Eupor, Eup, Eup, Europe. <laughs> What is with these made up names? Oh my god. Euporia, or is it not made up? I really don't know my ge geography very well. So I really, I feel really dumb if this, these are really real places.、Um, but it's between Euporia and Saz with two A's.、Uh, the waters are brackish and murky with rocky islands and sometimes ice. So sounds like similar to Karina's.、Um, uh, Part of the seas,、uh, also kind of wintry. Caspia is very protective of the corals and makes many laws to ensure that they thrive in her kingdom. So、uh, she's also protective of her corals, just like Mala. So a lot of,、um, a lot of、uh, similar interests, as we can see here from、uh, different sisters. And also, Caspia has an ability. Her ability is that she can temporarily shrink anything or anyone with just a tune. So, again,、uh, a an ability that has to do with、uh, singing. So, I, I, I hope that comes into play in the movie.、Uh, very interesting once again. And we also have our first look at what the queen looks like. Now, it's not、uh, for sure like what happened to the queen. Is she alive? Is she dead? I mean, in the animated movie, you know, she was, she was dead. So,、uh, is she, you know, also gone in the The live action remake,、uh, but we have.、Um Yeah, a little description here. It reads first official illustration showing the look of the queen of the seas, wife of King Triton, and mother of Ariel and her sisters in a live action, yeah, Little Mermaid remake. So, yeah, so they all have one mother. They are all related.、Um, I know that biologically, bio realistically speaking, biologically, that's not realistic, but we got to remember that mermaid biology works differently. So, yes, they all have one mom、um, and one dad. Um, and they're all related. So that's just how it is. And、uh, we're going to have to just deal with it. And that's all <laughs> we know so far of the new versions of Ariel and her sisters in the upcoming live action Little Mermaid remake.、Uh, so I'm very excited. I can't wait to see how much screen time will every sister have.、Uh, what's the dynamic going to be like? Are they going to have a lot of speaking lines?、Uh, I mean, there are six sisters. So I'm kind of nervous, but I'm hoping for the best. And I'm very excited because even if they can't have like a lot of screen time, At least they look stunning in the small screen time that they will have.、Uh, I can't wait and I can't wait to see more pictures. Oh my gosh. Because, like, so far it's been really under wraps. Like, from all the people, all the people who play the sisters, none of them have really posted anything about the.、Um, About the project. So I'm very excited. But um, yeah, let's see. And yeah, that was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time stay PG. Kisses.